I've opted to wear this for this video because it's bizarre and I'm wondering if we're going to find out exactly what happened here. November 11th, 2019, John Chaka signs an extension with the, with, the, with the Coyotes, right? The Arizona Coyotes sign him to an extension and he says, I'm just really excited to keep working here. I love the city, I love the organization, the people that we have in place. Everything's great. Now it's July of the following year, and for 2020 reasons, things have changed. Now, I'll go into the, the, the Arizona strongly worded phrase first here. Holy crap. Um, this, now, all right, maybe I'll, I'll do that after. I want to read the statement first and get this out of the way. John Chaka has quit as the general manager and president of hockey operations of the Arizona Coyotes. The club is disappointed in his actions and his timing as the Coyotes prepare to enter the NHL's hub city of Edmonton where the team will begin postseason play for the first time since 2012. Which makes it sound like they made the playoffs, but they have to beat Nashville to officially be in the playoffs, even though the stats count as playoff stats. I don't know, it's 2020. Cheka has chosen to quit on a strong and competitive team, a dedicated staff, and the Arizona Coyotes fans, the greatest fans in the NHL. Every team kind of has to say that, right? Every team says they have the greatest fans in the league. Like, there's ever going to be a time that an owner stands at center ice or in the middle of a baseball field or football field and goes, hey, you fans may be mediocre, but you're okay by us. Mediocre, right in the middle. We're not going to see that. <clears throat> the club is moving forward and has named Steve Sullivan as interim general manager. Now you all want to see somebody do that, right? He has the full support of the entire organization, including team ownership, executive leadership, players, and coaches. Then remove interim. If you have full that, and again, I'm 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 quibbling here, yes. But if you're that determined that th this is our guy, then why is he the interim general manager? Just name him general manager. Uh, the club will have no further comment on the matter as the club remains focused on the opportunity to pursue the Stanley Cup. So they call him a quitter. Now, John Chaka has released a statement of his own. I'll read that as well. Uh, the past four years have been the most enjoyable of my life. In Arizona, I became a husband and a father while working as hard as possible to make the Coyotes a Stanley Cup contender. I love our players, coaches, staff, and fans, and I very much wish I could be with the team in Edmonton. Sadly, the situation created by ownership made that an impossibility. That's all I intend to say on this matter for now. A fuller, more detailed explanation may be necessary in the near future. May be necessary in the near future. Meaning, they come out with more of these statements. I'm going to tell you people what happened. So here's, here's how bizarre and weird this is. And this is as coyotes a thing as you can get. Somewhere, Eugene Melnick's going, thank you. Um, nobody's talking about him right now. So you have somebody goes to ownership, and we don't know yet what job opportunity John Chaka got. That has not been released yet. We don't know. But somebody goes to Arizona management, as you have to, and says, look, you've got this guy under contract, John Chaka. We would like to talk to him about a job opportunity. Ownership has the right to say, we're not letting him go. No. Sorry. But ownership goes, by all means. All right, so they come in, they talk to John Chaka, they give him an opportunity, and John Chaka goes, hey, that sounds like a great job. I wouldn't mind doing that job. Goes back to ownership. So uh, I want to do this job. Now, here's where things get interesting. John Chaka says he wanted to be in Edmonton. He wanted. So does that mean he wanted to be able to do both jobs? Or does this mean he was stepping down with the Coyotes the whole time? And it was just a matter of when, and the Coyote said, we'll just leave then. Right? Or you have to decide right now. Maybe he said, you know, I can stick around, but I'm going to leave for that. And they're like, nope. You're committed to us or no? Make up your mind. Jake is like, well, fine, I'll leave. Because the reports came out yesterday that he'd already cleaned out his office. He'd already just left. This wasn't, you know, a press conference where he sits down with Alex Marowello and goes, hey, you know, it's been a great time here. And Marowello goes, yeah, good luck to you, kid. No, this was just all right. I'm just gonna clean up my office and go. I'm just gonna just gonna leave. We've had those moments with a job, right, where we just 
you just pack your stuff and go. You say, I'm, I'm out of here. Or you just walk up to your boss and go, so I'm leaving. You can't leave. I can because I don't work here anymore. So it, it is a bizarre situation. And yet, why would Arizona allow somebody to talk to him if it was going to be this big hullabaloo that he was thinking about leaving or that he was going to leave? So by stepping away, by quitting, that means that that contract that he has is now null and void. So John Chake is walking away from money with the Coyotes. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If they fire you, you can still get your money. If you quit, you don't. And so he nullifies that contract and he's moving into another job and he's doing it immediately. And according to Chayka's statement, they didn't give me a choice. And according to the Coyote statement, he quit on the team. It's so weird. And the, the good news is, if you're a Coyotes fan, uh, you know, the trade deadline's a long time ago. Teams are all in a hub. So it's not, it really shouldn't affect any of the teams in the hub. This really shouldn't affect them. Uh, I, I, I mean, I've talked in videos before about the close personal relationship that Kyle Dubas has with players in Toronto. I haven't seen that same connection with John Chayka and the players in Arizona. It might be there, but I haven't seen the reports of that same tight knit environment with the Arizona Coyotes that you see with the Maple Leafs. And there are benefits to that. And there are drawbacks to that. Cause when a general manager gets that personally involved, and, and, you know, that he becomes friends with players, it is more difficult to make moves that necessarily need to be made. So I, I don't know how many players in the Coyotes lineup would necessarily be maybe upset, maybe confused. And and I would think most of them is just, you know, we're going for the cup, whatever's happening there, that's, that's just, that's their deal. So I don't know. I, I guess the question becomes one of, you know, like I, I, I'm trying to just figure this out. And, and what are the Coyotes thinking? And and on John Chayka's side, I mean, I put myself in his shoes and I think, you know, he loved this job. Whatever other job he's got, obviously he he wanted that opportunity so much he's willing to walk away from this job he loved, this, this city he loved, this organization he loved. And then the organization just seems to be kicking him on the way out the door and calling him a quitter, which is, you know, I, I think, I don't know. I'd be interested to know what you guys think on this too. I think saying that somebody's a quitter is okay if they're just leaving. But if somebody's leaving for a better job opportunity, I don't see that as being a quitter. Um, I had a boss once that basically accused me of that, that I had worked at one place for a short period and I, I left. And then, um, you know, he made a statement when I got a, a, a job that I would stay at for a long time saying, you're going to leave that one too. And I said, no, I actually like this job. So no. And that was a job that I had before this one where I was like, no, I actually enjoy being at work. So I'm not quitting that one. And, and that's, that's different than this situation, obviously where Jacob seemed to really enjoy it in Arizona. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below regarding the statement made by the Arizona Coyotes. And then the a statement backed by John Chaka and where this leads. And and, uh, and and the other thing, too, is if you're a Coyotes fan, does this have any effect? So the question being, are there any players on that roster that you think will look at this situation and, and maybe say, oh, that, that sucks, I was, I was pretty close to John, uh, and, and that kind of thing. So some interesting times in Arizona, right? Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happen upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.